Hello everyone, welcome back to How to Make Your Own Cartoon. I'm Adam, and I'm going to teach you how to lip sync this episode. I've got a bunch of requests for lip sync, so I think it's only, you know, a matter of time before I did it anyway. You're going to need a couple of mouths. I have a bunch of mouths, so let me get started with a happy mouth. When a character's happy, he needs a smiling mouth, and when he's sad, you're going to need a frowny mouth. Now, first you're going to need a bunch of different syllables. A closed mouth with the teeth showing, a closed mouth with no teeth showing, something like this. I know it's a smaller image, but, you know. Um, one open, two open, three open, four open. Now, you know, it gets bigger as it opens. You're going to need an F mouth when someone does a word with an F in it. And three O mouths where it gets smaller on the go. You could do it any way you want, but something like that. And I just made some extra mouths just in case. Once you have all these mouths, just make sure that they're all similar looking or the same style you don't want to shift styles in between the lip syncing it will look really weird so just make sure they all look very similar like this so now I'm gonna go crank up anime studio yay a Martian don't care file new okay now you're gonna to want to make a switch layer now if you don't know what a switch layer you can click here to find out what it is that was my switch layer aka continuous movement tutorial so yeah, click that. Create a switch layer. And you can just delete anything else. Now we're gonna import each mouth. So let me go get those. Closed mouth. Mouth one, two, oh, three, four. The F mouth. For some reason has a background, but we can fix that. O mouth one. O mouth two. O mouth three. So now I have all these mouths that are necessary, and I'm going to take all them and throw them into the switch layer. Now, this is just me. I like to rename my switch layer to, like, mouth or something, just to make sure I know it. So now, just like in the continuous movement tutorial, when you click on something in the list, it shows up that way. But it doesn't change it on the timeline. So I'm going to start it off with the closed mouth. This is the mouth that I use traditionally when someone's not doing anything. And remember, I'm using the happy mouth for this tutorial. Um, Alright, so I'm going to size it down. And we're going to need a character to use this tutorial. Now, since Paintbrush hasn't been used a lot recently, I'm going to use Paintbrush. I know she has he slash she. I don't really... He slash she has some fans that are eagerly always awaiting her appearance. His appearance. I don't know what it is. Okay, Paintbrush. And now I'm going to take the mouth, put it above the paintbrush layer, and size it accordingly. Now, if you don't know how to size things and stuff like that, you could check my tutorial on that right here. So now, now that that's good, I'm going to add in the eyes, which I already have saved in an Anime Studio f file. I also have the mouth saved in a file as well, but I just recreated it for you guys. So take the eye shrink it down put the eyes there uh, this is a little bit too small for an eye duplicate and drag all right so that's paintbrush for you his face is his slash her oh i don't know the gender ah paintbrush's face is perfectly sized here body all right great so now that the body is done we're gonna do the lip syncing. Now, I don't know how to really explain lip syncing too much, but I'm gonna use a line as an example. Now, let me go to my lines. Paintbrush doesn't really have any lines, so how about you mix it up a bit? I'm gonna use one of Pickle's lines for Paintbrush. The line where he goes, Is that an insult? It so let's use, Is that an insult? from episode 14, which if you haven't seen, it's on my channel. So now, we're going to zoom into the mouth for this, which is this switch layer, right, the mouth one. So now, think of it how you're talking. When you open your mouth a little bit, your mouth is open just a tiny bit. So when you go it, it starts off small, grows big, then shuts immediately. So he's going... So I'm going to use the open mouth one. 
No. You hear him go. So since he's going, I'm going to do the closed mouth. Because when I go with my teeth, it shuts it. The uh, uh, uh. Once again, open mouth one. Now he's even louder, so we're going to go open mouth two. Oh, wait. Open mouth two. Uh, even louder than the last one. Now it's a little bit quieter, so I'm going to make it two. Now it's going, which is shut. It. Once again, open. Open more. Even open more. Even. Even open more. And that's it. So let's play it back. Is that an insult? It's a little bit laggy. So is, is that an insult? But yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, now I know it's a little silly seeing paintbrush with pickles voice, but it's the only really line I had on here. Now, with the switch layer. Is that an insult? Even though it's changing, you can still make it move around. So, if we go to the beginning on the timeline, click on the translation tool, set it for this frame, then go to frame 6 and move it over, it'll continue moving while the whole switch layer is moving. So I can make Paintbrush lean over and say that. I could also make the eyes go with it. Now, if I want to make paintbrush blink, we could do blink for this frame, move frames in the future, and make it open the eyes. So now he'll do this. Is that an insult? She'll do this. He'll do this. Ah! This is getting irritating. I'm missing up every word now. Thanks a lot, paintbrush, whatever gender you are. Okay, so now that we taught you how to lip sync. Is that an insult? And how to move around while lip syncing. Um, that's pretty much it. Is that an insult? Um, yeah. Just make the mouths like I said. Um, put it in a switch layer and move it to the way I said. Um, if this is a little bit too confu confusing for you, I'm messing up every word now thanks to Paintbrush. If you are having trouble with this still, feel free to contact me on my channel. Just personal message me and I'll try to explain it as much as I can. But I really hope this clears things up for you. In fact, I'd really like to see what you guys come up with. So if you want, do a mouth testing, lip syncing test, whatever you call it. Um, post it as a video response and uh, I'll just give you my feedback. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, see you guys.